underscore here we are boys and girls with another cool loser tech video in this segment I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks on how to save some memory and uh, save some battery now obviously you see my background running it is a live wallpaper and yes this is definitely using up memory and it is uh, using a lot more than the normal battery because it's running it's like an application running so it's live wallpaper, you can interact with it, uh, it's using juice. So if, if you like this, expect to lose more battery than usual. It's not majorly different, but it is definitely using some battery. So if you want to save a lot of battery, do not use that. Also, if you guys uh, have light screens, like a lot of white colors or colorful things, obviously dark backgrounds, uh, letters, uh, will definitely save you guys a lot of battery heavy dark themes. And now I'm going to get to my widgets. Widgets are definitely battery hogs uh, depending on how you exactly have it. Now I have one widget, two, and I have three, and I actually have four. This tweet deck right there that pulls data. Anything that pulls data is definitely using battery. Now how to control your data and to save battery you need to do one of two things. Now I have a widget right here. You check it. You can check it. I go to my settings. What you need to do is check your refresh rate. Now a lot of applications that come out have it at the fastest that they can have it. Now you check it right here here is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, 3 hours, 6 hours, 1 day. What that means is it'll update at whatever minutes, hours, or day you have it for. I have it set for 6 hours. So every 6 hours, this will update and refresh itself with new data going on. Even if I haven't checked it for 7 hours, let's say, it'll still bring up the 7 hours worth of, of data. There's that. And since I have here, this comes with with another update frequency. And um, you can see right here, it updates every two hours. This is my uh, Facebook and tweets. I think it starts with three minutes when you first download the app. And uh, that is definitely stealing uh, some battery and uh, data. So imagine getting data done every three hours. Now I have it for two hours. That is perfect for me. I am very happy with that. And uh, my battery lasts for quite a while since I don't have a lot of data streaming off. So that's what you guys need to do is definitely check your your widgets. Check your uh, refresh um, frequencies. Here's another widget. Like I said, this updates itself every six hours as well as the same as the, my TechBuzz widget. Um, there you have it with the little tip on how to save a lot more battery. A lot of widgets that you don't have on might still be pulling some data, so check your stuff that you download that have streaming data capabilities and check your frequencies of refresh rates. And that will definitely save you a lot of battery and definitely save you from um, using too much data if you don't have unlimited. A lot of people don't care and they always have a a connection for their battery and but this is for the people who want to save a lot of battery who are on the go and don't have a connection everywhere they go to charge your battery. Well this is a little tip on how to keep your data and battery saved. And of course closing some applications ending.